senators will question Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh on Wednesday a day after Democrats and left-wing agitators repeatedly interrupted Tuesday's hearings. Senators will get 30 minutes to question Kavanaugh in the first round and another 20 minutes in the second round. Stay tuned to Breitbart News for live updates. All times Eastern. 4.50 p.m., Sass says he wouldn't be able to vote for Kavanaugh if, like the agitators have said, Kavanaugh actually believed presidents can do whatever they want. 4.37 p.m., Coons says there is a legitimate cause for concern re, his views on presidential power. Coons says Trump could have chosen Kavanaugh to protect himself. He asks if he believes the president can fire a prosecutor investigating him. Kavanaugh says that is a case that could come before him in the future and doesn't answer the hypothetical. Coons now brings up Watergate and the independent counsel statute and whether he thinks it's a constitutional travesty. Kavanaugh says the old independent counsel statute is distinct from special counsel. He keeps pressing Kavanaugh on whether he believes the special counsel can be fired at will or just for cause. Coons also keeps hammering Kavanaugh on the unitary executive theory. They spar about whether Kavanaugh took a constitutional position on the White House investigations issues. Grassley points out that the independent counsel statute in Morrison was not renewed and even Eric Holder said the law was too floored to be renewed. 3.45 p.m., Cruz starts off by thanking the Capitol Police for their tremendous work to allow the hearings to take place as agitator after agitator disrupts. Cruz now talking about the overheated rhetoric from the protesters and his Dem. Colleagues. He says he has taken a look at Kavanaugh's record compared to Garland's, and he found that they have voted together 93 percent of the time. Kavanaugh says Garland is a great chief judge and they work well together. 